Hey, how are you doing, fellow YouTubers? Uh, it's a pretty good day here. Now, well, a couple of things that I wanted to talk about was uh, one of my fellow residents here basically said something to me that was rather insightful. And uh, you know, I have to put him into agree with. He said that uh, I am one of the sanest people here in this building. And I seem, I mean, I've had people comment uh, and say things like that to me, to my face, a lot in my life. Uh, but here's the thing, is that because I know that I'm sane and that I know how insane the world is, I mock and I ridicule and I, that pushes people away. It really does. And the thing of it is, is that, um, you know, sanity versus insanity is just, uh, it's, it's, it's the measure of agreement between uh, the individual and the group or the ideology. Now, you know, to a degree, we're all uh, partly sane and insane in regards to certain things. Now, the trick of it is, is to basically be able to call yourself on your own bullshit and overcome the behavior, overcome the, uh, the thought process. Um, and you do this by, you can either do this through logical argumentation or emotional appeal. Sadly, most people do it through emotional appeal. You know, like you call, we call names, we make videos, we, I mean, it's just, it's, uh, you know, some people are harassed and stuck. Uh, but I mean, it's, it's ultimately, it is uh, uh, emotional in nature. You know, it's this attitude, don't make me feel bad. Eh. Oh, I mean, feelings are in a great way a choice to a great degree. And it's like you don't have control. You don't really have control over other people's actions, but you have control over uh, how you react to their words or their behavior. And that's really the point of this video, is that I have a choice. I can either get upset and you know, gripe and cry and make uh, poorly thought out videos like I've done in the past, or I can sit there and make videos that I want to make, uh, regardless of people's critique. Uh, another thing is in regards to finding one's calling. A lot of people assume that once they know their calling that it's going to be uh, smooth sailing from then on. That's not the case. Uh, there's countless people who, you know, when they knew their calling, they knew that there was going to be a lot of hard work involved. And, you know, I'm most likely one of those people because I keep wanting to go into one direction, but uh, the world, uh, my higher self, whatever, keeps pushing me towards another direction. Um, <clears throat> I mean, really, it's like, you know, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Most people, if they had to undergo the BS that I have had to undergo on YouTube in regards to expressing my opinions, they would, they'd have packed up and left long ago. And they just would have, especially after, uh, you know, an incident of, uh, being incarcerated basically for what they believe. Um, you know, I mean, the underlying reason ultimately of why I was incarcerated was because people didn't like what I was saying and they wanted to shut me up and they wanted to shut me down. They wanted to crush me, they wanted to grind me, they wanted me to uh, come out a, a whimpering, sniveling wreck of a human being. And I know they're not going to stop. <laughs> oh well. Um, it's my choice. I can't control them. I can't control me. So if I just disregard their idiocy, their insanity, their emotional hysteria. That's pretty much the wisest choice. I mean, what more can they do to me? And really, if I have people trying to shut me up, doesn't that mean that what I'm saying is worth hearing? Hmm. Um, I've only met, I, I've met a very few people on YouTube, well, not even met, but seen a few people on YouTube who actually have good arguments against what I'm saying or in response to what I'm saying. Uh, emotional responses like, oh, you're a schizophrenic or you're this, you're that, you're another, uh, 
You know, that you're ugly, you get that kind of thing. That's that's emotional bullshit. That's that's some, you know, social justice warrior person, uh, you know, crying into their uh, margarita or their uh, shorter temple. You know, I mean, that's the reality of the situation. <laughs> um, so, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm very hopeful about the future. And a lot of it is going to have to do with how I react to situations and to people. So, uh, yeah, with that said, I'm going to continue calling everybody, including myself, on their bullshit. And uh, that's how it's going to be. <laughs> Have a day.